What up guys, my name is Eric, this is Racing Ram Fam. In today's video, we're gonna be installing some fully adjustable tubular control arms into our project Whitey, the twin turbo 5.2 liter Magnum V8. We're gonna be installing these tubular control arms due to the fact that the factory are some stamped steel control arms, as you can see right there. And when we four x four launch this truck at the drag strip, I don't want those folding or flexing and getting the whole truck to bounce. So we're gonna be installing these fully adjustable tubular control arms from Max Speeding Rods. These tubular control arms are adjustable between zero to six inches of lift. And in our case, we are lowered two inches, so we're gonna be using it to actually move the wheel a little bit farther forward in the wheel well because we are getting these big fat meats stuck into our fender right there. And we don't wanna chew those up because these tires are not cheap. But these things are beefcakes in the fact that they are tubular, they're fully adjustable, they have some beefy threads right there, that's how you adjust them in and out. So if we wanted to lift the truck in the future, we could actually adjust the control arms, we'd be good, we just have to get some new coil springs, but our control arms would be awesome. They also come with polyurethane bushings, and they come with a nice set of washers in the kit. We did have to pick this up separate, our hardware kit, uh, if you guys want to pick up some of these control arms, check out the link in the description below. And you guys get 5% off using the promotion code RAMFAM, so type that in. Check it out in the description below. We'll have the control arms and the hardware for you guys to pick up. But we're going to actually install these guys into the truck today, so we're going to have to probably cut all those bolts. Because this thing is a rusty pig, as you can see by the fender right there. So we're going to get it up on the hoist. Look at these rusty, crusty things. So you can see they're a stamped steel design, how they're hollow in the center. So you could weld a plate in here and make them nice and beefy. But look at our bushings. They're so shot that it's just time to replace these. And tubular, they're going to be a 10 times stronger. They're adjustable, so we have all the options of putting the axle where we want it. We can adjust pinion angle super easy. We'll also have the eccentric cams for that too. And it's just, it's time to upgrade these crusty, rusty, uh, crappy stamp steel control arms with the bushings that are rotted out in them and put some beefcake adjustable control arms in. So I'm super pumped. So every bolt on this side actually came out pretty decently. The upper control arms, both bolts came out, lower control arm, back bolt came out, but our eccentric bolt on our lower control arm going to the axle actually snapped the head off. So uh, we're gonna try snapping this side head off and then spreading this mount out to get this out. Otherwise we'll be plasma cutting this head off and then spreading them out to get it out because obviously that bolt stuck in that bushing, but our upper control arm should come out with a little persuasion. And one. So you guys saw us plasma cut and pry out our lower control arm. That works really good if you just cut both heads off the end of the eccentric right there and then just pry these out a little bit. They come right out, they fall out. So this side is ready to go with the new control arms. Um, our upper control arm is a little shorter than our lower control arm, as you see right there. So these two are our new lower control arms and these two are new upper control arms. So we're gonna just add probably a quarter inch to both of them just to push that wheel forward a tiny bit more but we're gonna actually throw bolts in here line them up and then we'll add a quarter inch onto both of them so the way you adjust these is these actually just spin out lefty loosey comes out and then you lock it down with the jam nut right here which is kind of hard to do with one hand so I'm gonna line these up on the bench with bolts and then I'm gonna add a quarter inch to each the upper and the lower so you can see in that hole we got that one perfectly centered and then we have this one a little bit far forward and that's what we want. So we're going to match this one up to the other upper control arm, get them perfectly the same size and then we'll lock these jam nuts down when it's on the truck to hold it in place. And look how beautiful that turned out. Look at these fully adjustable control arms. We're gonna lock down the jam nuts on them and we should be kicked out a quarter of an inch on this side out forward. And now we gotta tackle this side. So I'm gonna knock this side out 
and then we'll tighten both the jam nuts up and then we'll show you guys the finished product here in a little bit. And look at those beef cakes all installed. We have the jam nuts all tightened up. Everything's installed. We got both sides installed. These big beautiful orange control arms and these things just seem like a beef cake compared to the stock OEM ones that were sheet metal, stamped steel, uh, worn out bushings and everything in between. These got polyurethane bushings. We have adjustability on it. Uh, definitely after you get these installed, you're gonna wanna take it and get an alignment on it. When we get our front differential all put back together, I'll probably adjust it a little bit better than how it is right now to get that pinion angle correctly and then we'll do a tape measure alignment, get it all perfectly good. But these guys are absolutely beautiful and absolutely beefcake-y, but let's set it on the ground and see if we push the axle forward about a quarter of an inch. So that's what they're all the way on the ground and we are definitely forward just a tiny little bit more, but you can see the big beefcakes right there hanging out down there nice and parallel. Perfect. I think she's ready to 4x4 launch, but we'll have to make her a true 4x4 by putting that front locker in, but we'll save that for the next video. Uh, if you guys want to pick up a set of these Beefcake Adjustable Control Arms from Max Speeding Rods and get 5% off using our discount code, check out the link down in the description below, otherwise I'll comment it too. But thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about the control arm install, hit me up on the comments down below. Keep it boosted, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!